Good morning, drumming community. Bart Elliott here. It is Thursday, October 17th. I'm indoors today. It's a little too wet and a little cool. Nice fall weather, though, uh, here in Nashville. On the calendar, we are remembering legendary drummer Cozy Cole, who was born on this day back in 1909. And Cozy was an American jazz drummer, best known for his influences in quite a few of contemporary rock drummers. Um, Cozy passed away and died of cancer back in 1981 in Columbus, Ohio. If you don't know who Cozy is, you can visit the Drummer Cafe calendar and just click on his entry for today and you can read a short bio about him and how you can learn more. Also, we are remembering Michael Hosek, who was born on this day back in 1946 and He's another American drummer, his claim to fame, and best known for his work with the Doobie Brothers. And he died of cancer uh, just last March of 2012. Uh, drum clinics going on today, <clears throat> so let's get you caught up on that. Uh, Dave Weckl is in Switzerland and uh, giving a drum clinic, but that's sold out. So if you don't have tickets, you're not going to be able to get in. Also, Gene Hoglin is giving a drum clinic at the Iowa City Yacht Club, and that's tonight at 8 p.m. Steve Smith will be at the Drummer Collective, or the Collective in New York City, and is giving a clinic. There is a fee um, if you are not a enrolled student at the school. Uh, I'm not sure of the price. I think it may be $15 to get in tonight. But he's working not only with himself, but also a couple other musicians. So it's going to be a performance clinic type thing. And that gets started at 7 p.m. this evening in New York City at the Drummer Collective. Also, Gavin Harrison is back out again today, and he is giving a clinic 7 p.m. at Vic's Drum Shop in Chicago, Illinois. And again, Gavin has had sold-out clinics. In fact, I just heard from Explorers Percussion that their clinic was sold out with Gavin. So if you plan to visit uh, Vic's Drum Shop today and see Gavin, you might want to call ahead and make sure there's some space available for you and get that ticket picked up immediately. Not a lot of other news. Um, I will say, <clears throat> I had mentioned the other day about Bill Ward recovering from his surgery. Uh, Tico Torres is back on tour with Bon Jovi. And that, he got, I guess it was about the 8th or so of October, he got back on stage. So congratulations, Tico. And he also just celebrated his birthday. And a couple other news items. One is uh, Symbols has put out a really neat uh, interview with uh, Jabal Starks and Clyde Stubblefield. Those are the two original drummers with, or legendary drummers, I would say. They had, he had many different drummers, but those are the two that stuck uh, with James Brown. And uh, they have gone in, and in fact, here in Nashville, uh, they went up to SIR and recorded an extensive interview documentary type of a thing. Uh, there's a little bit of playing, and uh, you might want to check that out. I've got that news item on the, actually today is on the front page of Drummer Cafe. So go and you can watch that episode one. It's about 15, 17 minutes long. It's really great stuff, and there's a lot of information that, that even the first episode I heard that I had not read about those two so check that out. Also, <clears throat> I want to give a big thank you to my friend Bill Bachman. Bill has been a supporter of the Drummer Cafe in the past with his legacy drum gear with his remote speedy hat, which I love, by the way. And you can see my review of that uh, at Drummer Cafe. But also, Bill has been... Uh, a sponsor this month and that means he's purchased advertising for his website drumworkout.com so visit that and I just went uh, today's the last day of his sponsorship but I really appreciate you Bill thank you so much and it's people like Bill and others who either please uh, support 
and buy advertising that helps support my endeavors with Drummer Cafe. You help keep the lights on, as well as those of you who subscribe to my premium resources, $29.50 per year is all it is, and all of that money goes towards me being able to keep Drummer Cafe alive. There's a lot of um, expenditures with software and paying for hosting for my videos because I don't just put it on YouTube. I make it commercial free for the premium resources and a lot of my lessons and things are having their own dedicated streaming server for the video plus hosting for the website software and licensing of photos and things like that there's a lot of different expenses involved and it's a one-man operation so again thank you bill and if you would like to help out drummer cafe and would like to be a sponsor we have a number of packages available and you can not only have a banner on the site and get more exposure and build your brand but i really go to bat for you i hit all the social media and um there's a package where you can actually be a sponsor and uh, be a sponsor of my new Drummer Cafe TV show, which Bill will be a sponsor of. The episode is just about ready to come out of the oven. So anyway, and I've got another sponsor I'll be mentioning next week that will, is coming on board for a month or two, and we'll be talking about them as well. So thank you again. I hope you all have a great day. Be kind to each other. Pick up a pair of sticks and... Have at it today at some point. All right? Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.